All right, YouTube. The powder blue is back in the display. Um, I quarantined it for about five days, along with the uh, medications. I used the AP medication. It uh, had signs of it, or whatever the heck that parasite was that was causing the white spots on its fins, on its eye lens, etc. I kept it in the quarantine tank for about five days, and the actually the second day, it showed no signs of the disease. So I let it go for another three days. And truthfully, I only have a 10 gallon quarantine tank. So I didn't want to leave it in there for too long because small and confined spaces can cause stress in the fish. And, you know, it's just, it's just not good for them. But I kept it in the QT tank for, like I said, three to five days, five days. Second day, it showed no signs of the disease. Let it roll for another three days and decided, you know, what the hell, I'll, I'll introduce it back into the display. That's the quarantine tank that I had it in. I had it with a uh, couple of um, air stones, a heater, and an air pump, of course, you know, bare bottom. And looks like the treatment took hold. Looks like it's doing okay. Had to tear down the rock, of course. But, you know, what the heck. Created another aquascape. Lots of holes, valleys. Lots of little places for the fish to go through, around, over, under. So, I'm pretty much, you know, pretty much happy with it. What the heck. Even though the fish trap didn't work, trying to catch that joker in a, 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 a soda bottle. <laughs> uh, no, it did not work. It didn't work for me at all. But, you know, that's what you got to do. Especially when it comes to your little critters. So I had to tear the entire aquascape down, capture the fish build a new aquascape but hey whatever you know kept it close to the aquascape that I had but there are some significant changes as far as space is concerned holes tunnels things of that nature so I think I'm pretty much satisfied we'll see how the powder blue does We'll keep an eye on the rest of the inhabitants and hope that we don't have another uh, ick outbreak. Fortunately, none of the other tangs came down with ick, nor did any of the clowns. The chromises, they're doing fine, and the six line wrasse is doing great. So, basically, we dodged a bullet. Everything's doing good in the tank powder blue has been treated and released back into the display so that's what we got right now Tessa Rosa 101 happy that things turned out the way they did and I'll be keeping an eye on all the fish in the tank to see if we have any more instances of this ick or any other type of parasite other than that, though, I'm quite satisfied. Quite satisfied. Got to clean out the uh, QT tank now. Built a stand for it. Little wooden stand. I'm getting ready to sheath it with some uh, Orianna strand board. You know, it doesn't have to be fancy. But this is Testarossa 101. 125 gallon. Signing out.